Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. One more time. It's week 30. You have got to the end of the year. Oh, no, it's not a sad time because you are now a 100% superstar. Well done, all of you. You've been doing such a great job. It is a crazy week. Mm, we've had them before. We have one last review week. Okay. A lot to do. So let's not waste any time. Whew. How much can you remember from the last six weeks? Wow. So let's get going. Where did we start? Hmm. Seems like a very long time ago now. Hmm. Nope. I can't remember. We used lots of adjectives. We used them for three weeks. We described so many things. Adjectives are great. They make your speaking and writing so much more interesting. It's okay to say the car but that's quite boring. If we say the fast, exciting, yellow car, well, that sounds much better. Let's use some words. Oh, that's a dog. It's a big dog. That's a donkey. The donkey is bigger. I think you can guess where we're going next. Yep, the elephant. What word are we going to see? Biggest, of course. That's easy. Bigger is a comparative adjective. Do you remember when we use a comparative adjective, we're putting two things together and we're looking which one is more. Which one is bigger? Biggest is a superlative adjective. It's super. It's number one. The elephant is the biggest. So we have two different kinds of adjectives. The comparative adjective and the superlative adjective. You could even say we've got three. If you want to use big as like the base adjective, the ordinary adjective, the one we start with. What about some spelling? Okay, when we have a Y, hmm. We have to take away the Y and put an I in its place. OK, so we've got car, truck and train. Now, there's no Y there at all. Let's have a look at an adjective. The car is heavy. Hmm, that's right. I can't lift it up. It's heavy. But look at that. It ends with the letter Y. So look, look at heavier. There we are. We've taken away the Y and we've just put an I in its place. Heavy, heavier. Now we know what's next. Heaviest. 
take away the Y and put in an I. Why do we do that? Well, I really don't know. English is very strange sometimes. But, sorry, we have to remember. If the adjective ends in Y, take away the Y and put in an I. Heavy, heavier, heaviest. We still say them the same. When the word is long, exciting has three syllables. Do you remember? A syllable is a sound in the word. Big has one syllable. Exciting has three syllables. Ooh. Well, all of these things are exciting. The fast car is exciting. What about the roller coaster? Do we say exciting er? Nope. We say more exciting. And what about meeting a superstar? Do we say the exciting est? Nope. The most exciting. So if the word is long, the comparative is more. The superlative is most. Now, do you agree? Do you think that meeting a superstar is the most exciting thing? Or do you think driving in a really fast car? Is that the most exciting? Hmm. Well, that's up to you, isn't it? What do you think? Now, some things we couldn't count. Let's see. How can we describe these buildings? Mm, okay, okay, okay. Right. So now we moved on to some different adjectives. Adjectives to describe buildings. It's high rise and modern. It's marvelous and wooden. It's historic and grand. Hmm, okay. So, can we put those in the right place? Well, the first one, it's marvellous and wooden. Would you like to live there? What about the next one? It's historic and grand. And that means the last one, it's high rise and modern. Now, I really like the castle in the middle, but I'm a little bit worried it might be cold and expensive. Hmm, where would you like to live? Okay, we got bigger. We looked at countries. Now, countries are big, but something can be really big, but still smaller than something super, super big. Hmm, so if we look at you, are you big? Hmm. Well, if we look at a cat and you, then you are big. But if we look at an elephant and you, well then, you are small. Hmm. So countries, they're all big, but it might be a small country when we compare it with something super, super big. Hmm. We can say a country is small 
if we compare it to another country. A country is never small. You can't really walk around a country in one day, can you? Hmm. So, although a country is big, if we compare it with another country, well, we might be able to say it's small. So, which one is the biggest? The USA is big. Hmm. Canada is bigger. So, we've got one more. Russia is the biggest. So, we've got three big countries there. The USA really is very, very, very big, but not the biggest. And we can say that in a different way. We start out just the same. Russia is the biggest. But then we can say Canada is the second biggest. So can you guess what that leaves? The USA is the third biggest. So we've got the same information and we know which order the countries are in. But now we have two ways to say it. Oh, I like this one. Which one is the richest? Singapore is rich good place to live. Luxembourg is richer. Oh, that leaves one more. Where is it? Qatar is the richest. Oh, I know where I want to live. And now the other way. So richest that's going to be just the same. Qatar is the richest. Which one's next? And how do we say it? Luxembourg is the second richest. And what does that leave? It's Singapore. How do we say it? Singapore is the third richest. So the same information, we just say it in a different way. Mm, then we went to the mall, the shopping mall, hooray! And an even bigger hooray because there was no grammar. We looked at important places in the mall that were not shops. Hmm, I remember it took us a long time before we could actually go shopping. The mall's a great place. There were some new words to remember. That's always good. We looked at places. We looked at places Actually, in the first week we were there. Multi-storey. The multi-storey car park. Atrium. The atrium is the big open space in the middle. Basement. The basement is right at the bottom. Sometimes there's a car park there. Sometimes it's other shops. So three great places. Very important, but they are not shops, are they? Then we moved around the mall. Let's go up one floor. Use the escalator. Now, 
I think we might use the escalator every time we go to the mall. It's a good word, isn't it? Escalator. You're still walking, but they take you up to a different floor. Very useful. Can we get around a little bit quicker? Hmm. Now, do you remember these? It gets big things to a higher floor. Hmm. Not people. The big boxes that need to go into the shops. Hmm. That is called a service elevator. We don't usually see it. And it's usually used at night. What about this? It is for small or lazy children. There we are. It's a push chair. There was another name we can use as well. Do you remember? A stroller. Two good words for the same thing. Push chair, stroller. Ah, then we did look at the shops. Good. This is a clothes shop. The clothes are really nice. So we can give it a different name. It's a fashion store. If your clothes are really, really nice, you can say they are fashionable. And you would go to a fashion store. There were lots of different shops. Is this a cafe? Hmm, it sells great juice. It's a juice bar. I think a cafe sells coffee, tea, cakes. I don't think any of those are good for you. A juice bar sells good, healthy juice. What a good place to go. That was a lot of shopping. We did a lot. We bought shoes, we bought dresses and hats, we bought toothpaste and glue. So many different things. Oh, now, can you match these together? We've got shoes, glue and soup. With these, we used some different words. We used tube, bowl, pair. When you buy shoes, it's a pair of shoes. Pair means two. You don't buy one shoe, you buy a pair of shoes. When we buy glue, it's in a tube. A tube of glue. That means in the food court we had a bowl of soup. Well done. We bought so many other things as well. It was good being in the shopping mall. Okay, then I think we did have a bit of grammar. We looked at things we can count and things that we can't count. We call them countable and uncountable. Sometimes you might see the word non-countable. Just the same. Let's have a look at what we can count and what we can't count. Balloons are countable. J 
juice is uncountable. Now listen again. Balloons are countable. We use the word are. Juice is uncountable. We use the word is. Let's look at more. Invitation cards are countable. Mayonnaise is uncountable. Plates and cups are countable. Music is uncountable. Why did we need to buy all of these things? What was it for? We need all of these things to have a great end of year party. So, how much juice do we need? Now, we know juice is uncountable. That's why we say how much. Oh, that's great. I like juice. We need a large amount of juice. Hmm. So, we didn't use any numbers, did we? We used quantifiers to tell us how much there is, but without using a number. So let's look at this one carefully. Juice is uncountable. So we say, how much? How much juice? A large amount. That's a quantifier for uncountable things. We need a large amount. Let's look at something else we need. How much bread do we need? Hmm. Well, that's, that's not a large amount. We need very little bread. Hmm. I don't think bread is popular at a party. Also, bread is a little bit unusual. It can be countable or uncountable. Hmm. When we've got a whole one, it's one. It's countable. When we start cutting it up, hmm, then it becomes uncountable. One more thing. How much cake do we need? Oh, yes, I think we might need more cake. We need plenty of cake because how many people are there? There are many people. So we need plenty of cake then it's going to be a good party. So what next? Well, you've finished grade three. Well done. That is a really, really, really great job. You are now real superstars. Oh yes. Aha. But don't forget, Learning English is like climbing a big ladder. We take one step and then another step and then another. There's always another step. So well done. You are ready to take the next step. You have done so much work. You really have learned a lot. Hmm. I hope it wasn't hard work. Thank you so much for joining us every week. I hope 
at the end of your year, you have a great party. And see you all in grade four. That's exciting. And one last time, here are our final two friends. They always say, thank you. See you next time. See you next time in grade four. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.